Hey guys, Jason Creel, and this is the Lawn Care Life. When you're doing weed control and fertilization, one of the most important things you can do is understanding how much of a particular weed control product you're putting out at a certain time. And the, the fancy word for that is calibration. So we need to calibrate our sprayer so that we know how much of a weed control product to put in the tank to know how much is actually going out on a particular yard on a given application. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to calibrate your sprayer. Stay tuned. And I've got a special guest with me. This is James Bartley. He works with Harold's. He's one of my mentors in the lawn business. And uh, But anyway, he's been doing this longer than I've been alive, literally. <laughs> even as young as he is so anyway but he's going to explain to us in layman's terms where a normal person can understand it how we're going to go about calibrating our sprayer and maybe also james just for a second talk about why this is important why does it matter jason it's really important in that you got to know the right amount of product to use to be able to stay within the law first of all you also need to know if you exceed that you could damage your turf and if you go too low with your rates and your spreading and your calibration, you might not control the insects or weeds that you're trying to do. What I like to do is everybody seems to have their own comfortable gait, G-A-I-T, and that is a normal walking speed that most lawn care technicians will fall back into. Even if they try to do it fast or slower, they always seem to fall back into this normal speed for them. I like to bring that calibration to that guy's speed. And because that's what he's gonna do, he or she is gonna do day after day after day. And so what I like to do first is come up with what they can um, actually treat, the area they can treat in 15 seconds. And then I wanna know how many ounces or gallons that they're gonna put in a big measuring cup in that same 15 seconds. From that, we can gather what they're doing gallons per thousand. So we can use a little bit of math and figure out their gallons per thousand. And most of the labels, we're going to have something like you use, you know, 1.1 ounces per gallon of this product, excuse me, per thousand of that product. And so if you know how much water you're putting down on a thousand, you'll add that 1.1 ounces to that amount of water. So that way you can be consistent, especially with a handgun, a, you know, pulling hose and spraying from a nozzle type gun like the Lesco gun. Uh, you can get it down pretty close to where you're pretty accurate every time and use the right amount of product. Once you've established that and that person has gotten into that habit, a good habit, uh, they can come up and look at their gallonage per lawn. So if they're supposed to use 1.5 gallons per thousand, and I'm just making that one up, uh, and they do a 10,000 square foot lawn, then they should have used 15 gallons to treat that lawn. So you could, as you go through the day, the managers or the technician can keep up and make sure they're not wasting product, spending too much money, possibly hurting the turf, or using too little and possibly not controlling the weeds or insects that were their target. Makes sense. All right, so we're going to try this out. we got a couple uh, guys here that want to make sure they've got their sprayers calibrated. And like I said, a lot of factors here. How fast you're walking. Again, like James saying, just your normal walking speed. We're not trying to walk real fast to get, get to a certain uh, calibration. We want to adjust the calibration based on your normal walking speed. So, so we're going to spray in a bucket, see how long, uh, how many ounces we spray in 15 seconds. And then we'll spray on the actual gravel parking lot, just spraying water for 15 seconds. We'll measure that and then we can do the math to, to figure out. So, all right, let's get to it. So we've got a five gallon bucket. We've got a couple of measuring cups. What we're gonna do is we're gonna time for 15 seconds. Gonna, and we're just using water here. He's gonna spray for 15 seconds. We're gonna see how many ounces uh, we're spraying in 15 seconds. Now again, you could do a longer sample size. You could do 30 seconds, you do a minute, you do whatever, and then, you know, but, but we're gonna do 15 uh, and then we'll have some easy math. All right, so there we go, 15 seconds. Now we've got these measuring cups that have the ounces on the side. Let's see. Let's see what we get here. It's actually the second time we've done this, so it should be in the neighborhood of 112 ounces. Let's see if that one goes up to 48 ounces. Oh, 
really sprayed a little bit more. Well, let's put it up where it's level. I say a little bit more, like two ounces more. So what'd you get? How many? 114 ounces in 15 seconds. So now what we gotta do is spray on the parking lot here for 15 seconds and measure how many square feet that we sprayed in 15 seconds. And then we can do some math to see how many, you know, how, how that would be over a thousand square feet. All right, Garrick's timing him for 15 seconds. Alex is our sprayer. James is our coach. I'm the cameraman. This ain't necessarily a four person job, but a uh, good learning experience for us. All right. So here we go. 15 seconds of spraying water on a parking lot. All right, and he stopped. So now we can see the wet gravel parking lot here. We'll take a measuring wheel. That goes one of my competitors driving down the road. Um, we can take a measuring wheel, measure this, and we'll see how many square feet did he just cover in 15 seconds. So he's gonna measure the width of his pattern here. What'd you get on the width? 12, 12 feet wide. And now we're gonna measure the length. Now this isn't the only way to calibrate your sprayer, but this is one way. All right, what'd you get? 63 feet long. 63 feet long by 12 feet wide. 756. 756 square feet that he sprayed in 15 seconds. And we know how many ounces that was as well. So now we can do a little math. 756 square feet in 15 seconds. And we got 114 ounces. And normally we'd do all this math in our head, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna use a calculator. <laughs> right, we're gonna explain the math here. Well, basically when uh, he sprayed, we measured the area he did in 15 seconds, which was 756 square feet in 15 seconds. We also know that the gun is putting out 114 ounces in 15 seconds. So 114 ounces for every 756 uh, square feet. To find out what his gallons per thousand are, since so many of the labels are given rates in per thousand, we did a little math, a little cross multiplying here. So we go as 114 is to 756, X is to 100. Well, you cross multiply and we come up with 150 ounces in a thousand square feet. Divide 150 by 128 ounces in a gallon and you come out with 1.18 gallons per thousand. So his sprayer and his walking speed and his uh, spray width, spray pattern width, come out to 1.18 gallons per thousand. So in a sense, if, he, if that is his normal gait and that's what he does on a regular basis, then for every 1.18 gallons of water in the tank, you would apply, or excuse me, you would mix uh, the rate of that product uh, for 1,000 square feet. So in the case of uh, products being 1.1 ounces per thousand, you would put 1.1 ounces for every 1.18 gallons of water. That's too easy. Uh, after we established that the sprayer and the and the technician were applying 1.18 gallons per thousand with a 200 gallon tank full at 1.18 gallons per thousand using a product just as an example of 1.1 ounces per thousand here's how you would calculate what goes in that tank to be able to spray the right amount of product on that lawn you would take 200 gallon tank divided by 1.18 gallons. So for every thousand square feet that this tank will treat, uh, it will use 1.18. So to find out how many total, the total square footage this whole tank will treat, you, go, you would go 200 divided by 1.18, 
and you would come out to 169,500 square feet or 169.5 thousands. So take that 1.1 ounce rate of a product times 169.5, because that's how many thousands that tank is gonna do, would give you the total amount of product you would need to mix for that day that you were gonna treat with that product. So 1.1 ounces times 169.5 thousands gives you 186.4 ounces or roughly 1.45 gallons of product. So for that 200 gallon tank, you would need 1.45 gallons of the product if you're at the 1.1 ounce per thousand rate. That is for that technician that is shown that his spray speed and his gallon output is 1.18 gallons per thousand square feet. So let that calibration come to that technician and to his walking speed and norm, normal, normal gait and his normal way of spraying, if it's a proper way of spraying. So it may be different for another uh, employee or technician that, that sprays slower or faster. And so you wanna bring that calibration to that technician so that he can be accurate. Let me say also, it's real important to know the size of your lawn. So if you've been guessing at it, uh, this lawn looks like it's 8,000 square feet when it might be 9,100 square feet. It will be real hard for you to track your accuracy and know that that technician is putting down the right amount. So it's important to have the uh, pretty accurate square footage of the lawn that you're treating. Let me give you all a picture of the math here <clears throat> so that you might can uh, comprehend what we were talking about. What we're going to do now to get a little more accurate reading on it, <clears throat> we're going to measure for 45 seconds. So he's going to have a couple of turns involved and for a longer sample size and uh, check what we got for 45 seconds versus what we got for 15 seconds. And now we're going to take a measuring wheel and measure the amount of square footage that he just covered in 45 seconds. We got 59 foot long, 59 by 32. You got that little square over on that end? Yeah. 59 by 32 plus one little, uh, little patch over on the far side here. 2,044 square feet in 45 seconds. So we're checking it yet another way. This time we just sprayed a big block and we measured, timed it, how long uh, it took us to spray it. And now we're gonna measure. So we'll have the number of seconds it took to spray a certain square footage. And then we can do some math. Again, we're just checking it, you know, two or three different ways and trying to come up with a, you know, the, as accurate a number as we can so he'll know how to mix his weed control products in the tank. How many seconds was that? He sprayed 2,270 square feet. And again, using that same rate, which we, we know how much water he's spraying in 15 seconds, we can do some more math, a lot of math here, and figure out, again, just another way to check it. And, uh, cause you wanna get as close as you can cause it's important when it comes to mixing. All right, we got good news. After checking this calibration a couple different ways, he's come out to 1.3 gallons per thousand square feet. Now, again, if you, if you know the size of a lawn, let's say you got a 5,000 square foot lawn, well then you know at 1.3 gallons per thousand, you should use six and a half gallons on a 5,000 square foot lawn, if my math's correct. So, you know, when you spray that lawn, you can look on your tank, if it has a, a way to, to check how many gallons you're using on the tank, some kind of line on a hose, which way mine does. But, um, you know, if you use 10 gallons and you're like, well, what's going on? I'm either walking too slow or, you know, something's not right. But um, you're able to check yourself on the lawn. If I know the size of that lawn, then I can look and say, oh yeah, I'm right at about 1.3 which is how I've got all my chemicals mixed in the tank. So the question was, Alex asked, what's the advantage 
of doing higher volume, you know, so like let's say you want to mix it three gallons per thousand instead of 1.3. Is there, James, is there an advantage to doing a higher volume? Well, there's a lot of right ways to do things and there's technicians and companies that are using three gallons and some that are using one. And I think the end result can be the same, but there are pros and cons. Obviously, if you're putting out three gallons per thousand, your tank is gonna be limited in its production. If you have a large tank though, you cover the bill. Some of the positives about going with three gallons per thousand is that droplet, the concentration on that droplet uh, is gonna be less salty or less strong. And so turf injury or discoloration could be minimized by going with a higher volume of water. Also the nozzles that you might use for three gallons per thousand probably going to have a larger water droplet and you've got less of an of drift uh, potential. So maybe you can spray in a little more wind with a higher volume of water because the droplets, water drops are, are larger. So that's basically it. You'd probably need a, a larger tank to be able to do the production. When you shrink down to one gallon per thousand, obviously your tank, say on a 200 gallon tank like this, at one gallon per thousand, he would be able to do 200,000 square feet of production in one day. However, the concentration of each drop is going to be hotter. It's going to be more concentrated. It's going to have a higher level of the pesticide in there. In the case of spraying some liquid nutrition, it will be saltier from the fertilizer. So you could get discoloration on the turf a little easier. You also are gonna concentrate that pesticide on the leaf of the weed and maybe be more effective. However, when you got a larger amount of water, you're, the water that's carrying the, the pesticide will go further down the stem and on lower leaves. So you still end, end up getting really good coverage uh, with the three gallon amount and getting the weed control you need at three gallons, possibly just as good in some cases uh, as one gallon. And again, it depends on the product and the weed, how difficult it is to control that weed. So I think between that one gallon per thousand, we're talking about a gun and a hose now, and a, a nozzle on, on a gun, not necessarily a ride-on sprayer, you know, with the low volume. But from one to three gallons per thousand, you can pretty much take care of weeds and not injure the turf. And that's the end goal for the LCO. I hope this video has been helpful uh, to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel and hope to continue to provide helpful videos for you. Got a lot more videos out here for you on weed control and fertilization. Check them out. Thanks a lot.